Pennsylvania, a little west of Harrisburg, a little bog bridge we're walking on now and coming up to some different scenery. Kind of humid today, uh, 1130 in the morning now, but seems like it's going to be a hot one. So hopefully we don't spend too much time walking in the sun. But here's some sun. I mean, it is the middle of August, so humidity is to be expected in Pennsylvania. Off the trail, and there you go. All right, Pennsylvania, we got a bit of a rocky section here. That's where I just came from. Boom. Came through this way, and now we're going this way. Often when it's really rocky like this, you really need a lot of white blazes to show you which way to go. Because you can't just go by where the ground and the dead leaves have been trampled, because so much rock. And I think I'm going to have to stop filming right now to use two hands to get down there. Just wanted to show you this cool section. And we're heading that way. See you down the trail. Okay. Ice cream challenge. Half gallon. Some of us did it. And got a, a spoon, a wooden spoon <laughs> to prove it. I didn't make it. I ate this, this is left, it's not happening. We got one still in the running. I'm still working on mine. I'm, I'm, <laughs> maybe if it melts, I'll just drink it. Uh-huh. And it's also supposed to be like uh, high 80s today, so would have been a good, I mean, it is a good day for ice cream, but not that much ice cream. Hey, I'm on the trail near uh, Chambersburg, PA, Fayetteville, PA. Just had a little bit of personal trail magic because I was uh, hiking. Oh, here. guess I'll keep moving, but there. Kind of go up the stairs. There, I just came up. Right, so I'll keep moving while I'm talking. Uh, a little while ago, I was hiking and I started talking to a guy who turned out to be a section hiker who lives near here. And he started telling me about the road crossing that I was coming to. And he mentioned that there's a convenience store and I said oh maybe I'll go get something to eat and he said well it's about two miles off the trail so I'll walk the two miles to the road with you and then I'll drive you up to the store so that's what we did so that was cool so he drove me to the store got a little something cold to drink of course I finished that there so I could leave the trash there ate a little something took a sandwich for later Later ended up only being about an hour later because I was hungry for it, so I ate it. But that was nice of him. That was Roger, and he's uh, planning to start his through hike in October. He's gonna kind of section it in a unique way. Okay, I'm not sure which way to go here, so I better look. See you down the trail. Hey, I'm at there. Well, I'm near a shelter right now, which is a very well-built, prepared shelter. I'll show you that in a separate video because it's a bit of a walk back. But look at this spring. This is a giant pipe here, and the water is flowing so fast. Look how quickly it fills my water bottle. Done. That's about as fast as you can hope a water bottle to be filled from a spring. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the shelter and show you the amenities. Okay, I'm all packed up, uh, ready to keep moving. I just wanted to show you something interesting when I got here last night. A train came by, it was around 7 p.m., but uh, there has not been another train since. So, 
No train bothered me while I was sleeping right here, a short distance from the train tracks. See you down the trail. Okay, here we are at the Pennsylvania-Maryland border.